Darren, first of all, welcome to Port Vale. You're the new first team manager. You've had a, a very quick tour around. Um, how has it been to have a look around and what's it like to be Port Vale manager? Yeah, for me, it's, um, to be Port Vale's manager, it's an honour um, to be um, to represent this football club, um, to lead the team um, and to be connected with the football club uh, in all areas of the football club. Um, so for me to, to, to be sitting here now and you know, expressing my views to the Vale fans and the staff here, um, it's a real honour for me really. So um, I'm delighted and can't wait to get started. What was it about Port Vale? Because I, I think a lot of fans, as, as soon as they knew you were available for, for the job, first name on everybody's lips, what was it for you about Port Vale Football Club that you, that you knew this is where you wanted to be? Yeah, certainly for me, um, the club, I've known uh, the football club for many, many seasons over, over my career. Um, so it's always been in my eyes a wonderful club, a solid club, um, a wonderful, loyal, um, passionate support base has always been here at the football club but also the the you know carol um and in terms of what she wanted for the football club and the views of how i see the how i see football and the connection with the football club and i just felt we aligned and just the the the, the club itself and me being here many many times visiting and getting that real good feel good factor with it so when um, I got the phone call, I wanted to talk. I wanted to to get to um, getting into the fabrics, if you like, you know, and, and and know more about the football club. And the more and more I found out about Port Vale, the more and more it warmed to me, it energised me, and um, to the point, um, Dan, that on Saturday's game at Stevenage, um, I sent um, one of my uh, real good close uh, representatives. And what I did was um, I got him to pay for a ticket and sit in amongst the support in, in the crowd. So nobody knew he was coming here. So I got him to sit in and watch the game against Stevenage. And his views was excellent, really, in terms of he sat in with the supporters. He was rubbing shoulders with the supporters. And, um, and as he was um, talking to them, the energy, the atmosphere, um, the togetherness, um, he... He spoke about that when we spoke on the phone and he said in the last minute when, when we got the goal, it was the fans driving the players on and it was really, really good to see that wonderful support. And he said the fans drove them on and kept going and kept going and kept going and the boys got the just de deserved, got a penalty at the end and converted it and come out the game with a point and a well-deserved point. So those kind of aspects really warmed me uh, in terms of my decision. And I had no hesitation in terms of coming here. And as I said, I just want to continue to work and start the work and take this club and move it forward. Um, but we'll move it forward um, with a joint effort. It's amazing that the fans played a part without even knowing it of, of being one of the decisions of, of you coming here. Like they, it would have come back to you and gone, the fans are great. Like this is, this is exactly where you want to be. It's amazing that that happens incognito as well. And that's exactly what was said. He, he, he said it was uh, when he sat in, he sat in with the crowd. So he sat right in and he just um, was part of the day, you know, went around the concourse and everything else was, you know, uh, rubbing shoulders with the supporters. And he just said it was a real good energy and a great atmosphere. And I've always associated that, you know, um, in terms of over my career, when I've came here and sort of um, as a player or as a visiting manager, and I've always felt that. So when there was interest shown by uh, Port Vale, I wanted to speak, I wanted to um, find out more about the football club for myself, really, in, in terms of that, but be part of um, a community, um, a wonderful football club, um, owned and driven, by fantastic um, owners, and I wanted to be a part of that. So, and here I am now, um, excited. Uh, here I am now, really wanting to look forward to meeting everybody and and just getting and just get going, really. Pre, obviously, the the Stevenage game and hearing about the fans, you spoke to Dave Flickcroft a lot ahead of, um, obviously, the, the final decision. What was it about what Dave was saying that that made you buy into it instantly? Because it, 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 there's a lot of conversations that go on before your representative sitting in the stands. What were the conversations that, that really enthused you? Yeah, for me, um, when, when I got the phone call from uh, Dave and, you know, we've been um, talking a lot really and we'll continue to talk and we'll continue to work 
um, certainly over this journey. Um, his enthusiasm, his breakdown of the club, his breakdown of the team, his vision for the club um, in terms of the work that he's been brought in here to do and being part of it and, you know, um, him doing his uh, due diligence in terms of uh, recruiting in the next manager. Um, he'd done his work and um, so when we spoke together and we spoke about the, the structure of the football club, but then we spoke about the dynamics of the game, um, again, all aligned in terms of uh, what we want to do as a football club going forward. And when I say we, I mean we, because it, it's, everybody's inclusive. And uh, we've certainly, he certainly felt that and that's why it aligned with me. So those kind of aspects really broke down um, this, the, in terms of the vision for the football club. What we want here is, a, uh, is to see Port Vale be a, a, a progressive football club. But when I talk about a professive, pro progressive football club, I mean it on the pitch, but off the pitch, because both of them aligned um, together. And that's where, uh, when I look at this project and I look at the excitement of this football club, um, I certainly wanted to be part of it. Um, and that's why when I sit here, Dan, as, as manager, I feel really proud to, to represent this football club, uh, certainly on this next journey. And it's on and off the pitch as well. We mentioned the off the pitch, everybody's in it together, whether that's staff, whether that's the players, whether it's the supporters, everybody's in it together. On the pitch, what can, what can fans expect from a Darren Moore, Port Vale side? Yeah, certainly for me, uh, on the pitch, it's that passionate, loyal support base that we that we've felt, certainly that's in the football club. You want a team that uh, re uh, represents that. I, I, I've always wanted a team that the fans can connect with, the fans can understand, the, the fans can associate themselves with. Um, I know any supporter that could put on a, a Vale shirt and go out there, I know any supporter would want that hard work, that commitment, that desire, um, that belief, that, that togetherness, that uh, representing the football club at the highest level and to give everything. That's what any, I could speak now on behalf of any Vale fan, um, here now and that's why I want the team to um, be exemplary of all those traits really that they associate with their with their um, with their football club and their football team um, the fan base is a is a is a fan base that's passionate they're hard working they're committed uh, and you want a team that um, shows all those um, characteristics with them and, and that's why I've always thought of really as a as a as a player and certainly as a manager that I want them to represent and, and that's what we've always wanted to do. So, that, so for myself and the staff and the players, we have a real responsibility to the, to, uh, the whole community and everybody at this football club. And, and that's what we want to do. And the only way we do that is by getting on the training pitch and getting some real hard work done. In the, in the release that went out yesterday, you spoke about the, the short-term goal was securing the League One status. Yeah. And there's no time like the present to, to kickstart that. You go straight into a game on Saturday against Cheltenham. Your feelings going into that, is it excitement? Is it you just want to get going? Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely that. The, um, you know, your competitive edge comes straight away to the forefront. Uh, I'm looking forward to the game. Uh, I'm excited for the game. Um, we've got a couple of days to, to train and work before that. So that's really good in terms of um, getting to meet the players, getting to uh, work with the players, which is most importantly, and then just getting ready to um, to compete in that game on, on Saturday. So it's a really important game. And uh, and it's great to be uh, sort of back in with a new group of players and, and working towards um, that three o'clock on Saturday. You mentioned the supporters as well, their key role to play in, in, in all of this. and. It's going to be good to have them behind you when you walk out too. Yeah, I, I just um, I'm thankful for the messages of support that I've received. Um, I can't wait to see you all. I can't wait to meet you all. Um, I'll see you all on Saturday. I'll um, see you all in the away end. Um, I'll come over and meet and greet you all in the away end on on Saturday. And um, continue what you're doing, um, you Vale supporters, getting right behind the team, uh, being passionate, being loud and being com committed like you always has been and um, because you really do drive the team on and you really do encourage and inspire us all. So I'm thankful for you all and I look forward to seeing you on, uh, on Saturday. Kaffa, welcome to the club. Cheers, thank you.